calculate the time required for the wave to travel the distance lambda. Maybe the first thing that came to your mind is that covering a distance lambda means completing one cycle. And the time needed to complete one cycle is the period itself. But actually, yes, this is true. But here, the purpose is not to deal with it as a period. It's, it is just to deal with the distance lambda as distance d and the time delta t. Okay, then we're going to deduce that the calculated value represents the period. So as long as the wave propagates at a constant speed, so we can apply the formula V equal D over delta T. And thus delta T by doing cross multiplication, delta T is D over V, the D here, which is the lambda over V, which is given. So 10 centimeter over four meter per second, we have to convert the distance to SI unit and to convert from centimeter to meter, we have to divide by 100. So we get 0 0.1 meter over four meter per second. It's 0 0.025 seconds. Now for deduce the period and the frequency of the wave that propagates along the string. So based on what I've mentioned in part three that we know that covering distance lambda means completing a one cycle and at the time for one cycle is called period. So now we, call, we can deduce or use the previous value, delta t equals 0 0.025 seconds and consider it to be the period itself, 0 0.025 seconds, because it's the time needed to complete one cycle or to cover a distance lambda. And the frequency is one over the period, having the period in the SI unit, which is seconds, we get the frequency in hertz. Five, calculate the distance traveled by the wave in three seconds. Now V D over delta T, as I mentioned, since the wave is propagating, propagating at a constant speed, so we can use this formula. Otherwise, we cannot. When you grow up, when you reach grade 10, you know how you are going to study other cases. So now by cross multiplication, D equal V times delta T, four meter per second times three seconds, we, all, we have all the values in the SI unit, so we get the distance in meter. As for exercise three, which is about sound waves, the figure below shows a loudspeaker cone vibrating at a frequency of 50 hertz to produce sound waves. Give the cause of sound production by the speaker. We know that the cause of uh, any sound wave is the vibration, and it's mentioned already in the given that the vibration of the cone is, cone is producing this sound. So the cause is vibration of the cone. Uh, indicate whether the given sound is audible to the human ear or not, justify your answer. So you have to memorize the range of audible frequencies by the human ear, which is 20 hertz till 20,000 hertz. So any value within these two limits are audible by the human ear, also 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz, so including them. The given sound is audible since 50 hertz is within the audible range of frequency. For the human ear, we can write it in this way. So it's greater than 20 and less than 20,000 hertz. It's in between. So yes, it is audible. Three, knowing that the frequency of the sound remains the same and the amplitude is increased, indicate whether the intensity or the pitch of the sound changes and in what way. We know that every characteristic of the wave is related to a certain characteristic or property of the sound itself. So here, since the frequency remains the same, and the pitch is related to the frequency, we, can, we say that the pitch of the sound remains the same. However, as the amplitude increases, and the amplitude is related to what? To the intensity or to the volume of the sound. So as the amplitude increases, the intensity of the sound increases. If the amplitude remains the same, but the frequency is increased to 100 hertz, indicate whether the sounds get louder or not. So as the amplitude of the sound wave remains the same, the sound doesn't get any louder, its intensity doesn't change. It's not correct here to talk about the pitch because we did not ask you about the pitch. But if you were asked about the change of the pitch of this sound, yes, the pitch would change since the frequency increased, so the pitch increases. That's it.